All right, the moment we've all been waiting for is upon us. We'll all be rich in less than 10 hours. Lambo dealerships, beware. The Ada hodlers are coming. Just like you guys, I'm super excited for smart contracts finally launching in less than 10 hours for Ada. I actually made this video to explain what to expect when smart contracts launch. I think a lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm going to be rich. It's going to be crazy. Like I've been holding all these years. It's going to shoot straight to the moon as soon as smart contracts go live without really thinking about how long it's going to take and the mechanisms behind smart contracts. So I'm just going to get slightly technical in this video and show you guys actually what smart contracts do. I've given a brief overview of what smart contracts and dApps actually do in one of the videos that you'll find up here. But in this video, let's just focus on smart contracts for Cardano so we can actually know what to expect once they actually go live with the Alonzo upgrade. So if we look at something that Charles put up the other day, Cardano's Alonzo upgrade is going to bring program programmability to the blockchain. What does that even mean? A lot of people are like, okay, programmability, smart contracts. I don't exactly know what that means. I'm just excited because I think Cardano is going to shoot to the moon as soon as smart contracts are live. So I've talked about it in other videos, but all the smart contract is, is a little small piece of code that allows agreements between two different parties without a third party being involved, right? Super simple. If this, then that. So I actually want to jump in and like I said, we'll get slightly technical, not anything super crazy i want to look at marlo which is a playground for development on the cardano blockchain and i want to show you some of these use cases that are actually going to come out remember it still takes developers to develop these cool dApps using smart contracts to actually get usage out of ada like right now i just want to show you guys something real quick most of us are actually hodling our ada because if we actually go in and look at blockchain insights let's look at how much ADA is staked by percentage wise. So if we go all the way back to January 1st of this year, we're at 67% being staked and locked up and actually gaining interest, which is something that I've done with my ADA for a long time, up until recently, until I discovered Cardano NFTs. And then going all the way over to the 10th of September, we're at 70%. So roughly this whole year, 70% of ADA has been staked. Let's talk about why that actually is. The reason why it's staked is that smart contracts weren't here and there was really no practical usage for ADA at the moment besides us holding it and gaining interest which i love doing i've gained tons of rewards off of it so shout out to all the stake pool owners out there but now it's getting to the point to where i guarantee you with smart contracts we're going to see this amount of ada staked go down a little bit and even see numbers like where it says total amount of ada wallets we're going to see this actually grow it's already been going parabolic since january 2nd so we have a look here we're like all right two hundred and five thousand of this as of the 2nd of january go all the way over here to where we're at now that's 1.5 million actual ada wallets so people have been anticipating smart contracts for a while but as viewers of fud fighters i don't want you guys to be disappointed when smart contracts happen that's why i'm going to take you behind the scenes and show some of the exciting things that are definitely going to happen with smart contracts it just may not happen tomorrow so i just want to give you a bit of insight into how everything works with smart contracts and what they actually are and how to actually configure a smart contract in a very very basic block based way if I jump back over here now and we have a look at something like Marlowe playground which is just something that developers can use to write a smart contract there's several different practical use cases here for these contracts like we have being able to use it as escrow to do an exchange between the buyer and the seller and an arbiter as well we can do escrow with collateral which is very interesting to me and we're gonna jump into that in a second coupon bonds on direct swaps as well which is super cool like a lot of the DEXs that are gonna come out that allow us to exchange tokens or fiat for ADA are gonna be be using this type of smart contract here but just for simplicity's sake we're going to go to escrow with collateral and remember the programming language for cardano is based off of haskell it's actually called plutus but if you know haskell and go through the plutus pioneer program you can probably get your head around it and then you can also write in javascript or marlowe we're actually going to use blockly because i found it if you're not a technical person you can jump in and really understand blockly and get a very basic understanding of how smart contracts work and we're going to have a quick look here this is probably the simplest way I could find to explain how smart contracts worked in a very block based format. I've taught kids six and up how to actually use this by programming Spiro robots using block based coding. So don't get too caught up in trying to understand what's happening in this code. Let's just look at a few different areas. So let's look at the actual roles here. Let's look at our constant parameters. Let's look at the actual currency 
policy type here and the different accounts, right? So very simply, there's things happening with the seller role here up top, and then there's going to be things happening with the buyer and other things going back and forth between the seller and the buyer. We're going to actually try to come to some agreement or consensus here as well. After we've came to that consensus, we're going to have some kind of payment or exchange in the code. And it's very basic sense, right? And then we have our different addresses or public keys here that everything gets paid out to on this code that is a very simple smart contract right so when one party does this the next party does that or if this then that to keep it even simpler to kind of satisfy the requirements of a contract automatically without anybody else having to get involved so what is interesting to me is that when i look at where it says currency here or even collateral amount think about all these cardano nfts that i have being used and then put it in as the actual collateral or the currency type and then it'll say something like when buyer inputs x amount of collateral which is going to be the nft i'll give them a loan back in this certain amount right up to maybe like a 50 percent ltv which would mean if i put up an nft that's worth like five thousand dollars i can take out a loan that's up to $2,500, that means a 50% loan to value ratio. So I don't wanna to get too technical in this video, but this is the simplest way I could show how a smart contract actually works. Hopefully there's been developers working in the test net using these smart contracts and actually putting together some super cool projects for us to jump into in the next couple of days as smart contracts go live. It may not be because there's a lot of things that need to be worked out, right? So I talked before about oracles like Charlie and Dexis like Ergo. So if we go back and look at that chain of code inside of here, there'll be at one point when it comes to actually trying to confirm the addresses or getting the current price of the certain currency, we're gonna have to actually plug in an Oracle like Charlie three inside of here to return the actual price of everything. And hopefully there's some projects out there. This is on uh, developers.cardano.org that have been doing some great stuff with some of their more advanced features of their project to allow for maybe some yield farming or some DeFi things or simple smart contracts on something like cnft.io as well. But here's what I would do. I think a lot of you guys are gonna be watching the actual ADA price. I wouldn't watch that. I would actually go through here and I would find some of these projects and I would actually watch them and follow them on Twitter, turn notifications on and see what they're doing to actually capitalize on the launch of smart contracts. And you'll be able to see a lot inside of here to predict what's gonna happen in the future. So we'll just go through here and look at some interesting ones. There's a lot of NFT projects that we've probably already invested in. Ada Tools is super cool. It actually allows you to go in and look at the Cardano nodes and see what's happening with those as well and the stake pools too. So I'm a huge fan of Ada Tools. It'll provide a lot of transparency what smart contracts go live. We have Blockchain Explorers, which you guys have seen me use on the channel before. There's wallets like Ada Lite inside of here. I'll leave the link down below for you guys to go through on your own and do your own research to try to follow some of these projects and see what they're doing and how they're actually utilizing smart contracts to make their project super cool. We're all our fans of one of the only marketplaces on Cardano right now, which is CNFT.io. And one thing that really frustrates me with CNFT.io, besides them being down all the time, is that when I go to buy something, I have to wait on the seller to actually send it to me. And I sell things on here as well. And the other day I missed out on like 140 ADA because I just didn't check that email address. It's one of my encrypted addresses and I don't check it all the time time no excuse but what will happen with smart contracts and if they're smart all the time they have their database down they're preparing everything to be ready for alonzo so what will happen in the background will be kind of like that block code that i showed you will be when a buyer pays it should automatically send the asset to the buyer as long as it satisfies some of the requirements that are written into the smart contract another super cool thing about this all these projects that are coming out right now they're not too keen on the secondary market i mean they like to get the exposure and for the florida up on their projects but they're not being able to get the royalties on the back end so what smart contracts are going to allow is for it to be written in to say okay when somebody jumps in and buys this very important dummy for 50 ADA 
I'm going to get a certain percentage for it. When it's sold on, I'm going to get a certain percentage of that as well every time that it's transacted on the blockchain. That's what's happening on ETH for years. So that's something I'm super excited about that smart contracts is going to bring. But I just want to make a quick video to kind of temper your expectations on what's going to actually happen when smart contracts launch. I'll be happy if ADA goes to the moon. It went up by about 12% yesterday. Um, I'm looking at it right now. It's holding steady. I think we had about a 5% gain today. And I feel like it's a classic buy the rumor, sell the news thing, but hey, let's see if it shoots off. It may or may not. But I think what's really gonna take off are some of these projects that we've seen on developers.cardano.org or even more so some of the projects that we don't know about that some of the cool developers are gonna come in and make some super dope stuff when they're able to program Cardano to do what they wanted to do. Remember, this is also gonna allow you to make your own native token as well. The thing that I really like about Ethereum and I've missed since I've been so deep in Cardano is the ability to be like, I really like this project and I wanna invest in the project because I see a high upside. So a lot of those projects haven't taken the time to make a native token because it really wasn't that possible before smart contracts. But now with smart contracts coming online, they will be able to make their own native utility tokens a lot easier and we'll be able to swap them as well using things like Sunday Swap or Orgo or whatever Dex takes over on Cardano. So I want to make this video just to temper down expectations on what's going to happen when smart contracts launch. Like I love for it to shoot off to the moon, but what's probably going to happen is that you're going to receive some real cool developments happening in the DeFi space with NFTs and some automation and royalties being paid out for creators, which I'm super excited about here, just like it is on ETH minus the gas fees. But that's going to take a lot of time before that actually happens. We already know we got the Cardano Summit coming up on the 25th and 26th. And this is probably the time when we're going to find out what some of those projects are that are actually coming out to get excited about. Like, I can't wait until the summit to really see what's been happening on the test nets and some of the projects to get excited about. I've even been seeing tweet notifications from some of my favorite projects talking about big announcement coming up in, you know, 48 hours because they've been working behind the scenes to kind of flip that switch over when smart contracts happen. So it's some super exciting things happening, but I don't want you guys to be like disappointed if the price doesn't shoot out to the moon in you know nine or ten hours from now once smart contracts actually go live on cardano but i am excited i definitely not here to spread fud because this is fud fighters after all we do fight fud but i like to show you the facts and give you some technical information to really understand how smart contracts work so you can understand some of the practical applications that may happen in the future and better evaluate some of these things that are going to be coming out so don't get me wrong there's going to be drop after drop after drop after drop coming out on cardano when it comes to projects and things for you to actually spend your ada on we've been staking it for so long and kind of hodling it i just want to give you as much information as possible to help you make an informed decision when you actually unstake that ADA. Be sure to watch this video here next if you want to learn about smart contracts and dApps in a little bit more in depth as well. I also put up my playlist for Cardano if you want to learn about NFTs because now is going to be one of the most exciting times to invest in Cardano NFTs guys. Until next time this is your friendly neighborhood FUD fighter Michael T. Raglan signing off. Peace. Let's go.